Hey everybody, <clears throat> this is uh, Renee with Two Chatty Chicks, and I'm trying to get the computer to make sure that, uh... <gasps> I just got a message. Uh, the winner from watching uh, Kathy and I from Mountain Home the other night, uh, Connie Bowman, she said she got her uh, stuff today. So that is awesome. Um, I got some stuff, uh, different ideas that I wanted to show y'all uh, tonight. <clears throat> okay, and um, to kind of tell y'all a little bit about what I was using, I was going to switch and use what Kathy was using, uh, but I decided to go ahead and stay with what I was, and I'll show y'all the bag. This is what I used, okay? And it's a concrete leveler. It has no gravel in it. And all I have to do is just add water. And my, I don't have my little can that I used to um, mix it up in. Um, but what I do is I would get this. Is, I got this from the Dollar Tree. And um, this is four cups. So I would get four cups and I would put it in my bucket and I would mix just enough water a little at a time until I got it the right consistency. And I really wanted it thicker than what you would normally do. And then once I got that all mixed up, then I would get another four cups and add that to it. And this is the thickness that I was going for. Uh, these would be fine uh, if you're gonna lay sand down and then lay them in the sand and get them all level and everything. Uh, but I kind of have a different of an idea of what I want to do with some of mine. Um, but uh, I'll show you on the back. It's what I did is I took some wire, okay? And I made it strong enough to where it would hold. And then I put it down in the cement so that I could hang them on my fence out in the backyard because I'm going to decorate them really bright and pretty for the hummingbirds for around the hummingbird feeders. Um, so that's kind of why I'm doing that and also I was thinking about if I wanted to use them as wall hangings um, as decorative art. I could do that. I could take and put fleece on the back, glue it, and then I could hang it up. So just a different idea. Uh, that you know you might want to be able to do and I want to show you um, what happens when it, with using the leveler Kathy didn't do this on what she used and I'll share what she used uh, after I left uh, but I'm going to turn this down where y'all can see what I'm doing okay now as you can see, it kind of bleeds just a little, but that's no big deal because the reason is I really like how this turns out. So all you have to do is just take your screwdriver and you can pop that loose. And I've not had, yeah, it's a little messy, um, but I've not had any issues. The stencils are really tough. And of course there's not a it's not really thick on here and I was gonna go ahead and start this one and take it off but I thought that it would be good for y'all to see in case y'all did want to use what I'm using the only thing is I probably wouldn't use the quick creek that has the gravel in it because of the little the ones that have the more intricate you know, I meant to ask Carrie from Prima what they used, and I have forgot about I meant to ask her today, and I just never got around to it. But I really do like the finish on this. And I've got a couple of different ideas that I'll be showing y'all here. The main thing is going to be getting it up off the floor. Which normally I would have done this outside, but... I guess I could have started some of it anyway, so it might not have taken this long. But I gotta say, that's pretty tough. Let's 
see a lot of it, I can just pull right up with my hand. And y'all, if y'all have any questions, just ask. And uh, whenever we're through, I'll go back and I'll make sure that I answer everyone's questions. See there? Perfect. Okay, let me dump this off over here. Fuck it. But see how clean that is? I just, I really do like the way that that turns out. And this one, uh, it's not quite the gray that most of them are because I had started adding in some of the terracotta and um, I knocked my jar over, so I just quit. <laughs> But anyway, it kind of gives, this one ended up being just kind of a peachy color, which is really kind of pretty. But whenever you're doing the colorant, you want to make sure that you add the colorant into your water and let that mix up before you pour the water into your cement. So that's good to remember. Now, I did have an issue. Heather had asked me to do a black one. I have not had this happen since. But it may be because I added some different colorant other than what was for cement. But, and two, and I didn't wait long enough and it cracked. But that was the, the charcoal. They really don't have black. It's the charcoal color. But I think it's really pretty. But she had asked me about doing one in black. And um, I had told her that I would. But this is this one, this color. And... Um, I'm not sure exactly yet what I'm going to do with that one. I may do something with that later. Because I wanted to show y'all some of the other. And since Heather had asked about the black, this is the eastern tile. And what I did is put it on. I didn't put any color in the cement. I just left it as is. And then I put the stencil back on. And then I used Miss Lillian's No Wax Chalk Paint and the Onyx, which I really think is very pretty. I'm not even sure I would do anything else to that. I think it's just fine the way that it is. And I kind of touched a little bit on the edges. And I don't know. Yes, I did put the wire on the back of this one as well. Or if you wanted to, you could completely paint this whole thing black. And then you could use gilding jewels or um, uh, waxes on, on the raised edges. But I just really thought that was very pretty. And I had told Heather that I would do something in black so that she could see it. Okay, now <clears throat> I kind of wanted to do something a little different. Uh, I'm ending up using the back of this one because I didn't have time to make one by itself. Um, because this one is the back, but I still wanted to share with y'all an idea that I had. Because like I said, I have the birds in mind and the hummingbirds especially because you know how they like bright and shiny things. So these are going to be out in the garden around the hummingbird feeder. Um, but what I did is I used Jennifer Ferguson Artsyville size, which I carry and is on my website, 2 And what I did is I kind of zigzagged it like this with my chip brush. And you just wait and let it come to attack. And then you take your foil. And you would think that you would put down the pretty side of the foil, but you don't. Is that not gorgeous? Okay, you're going to put it down the pretty side up. And then you're going to take a scrub brush. And you know, again, if you wanted to do this as an art project for your wall in your house, I think this would be so pretty. Wow, that's cool.
But see how shiny and bright that is? That the birds would absolutely love that. And to seal that, and I know I missed some spots, but the, the thing is, is I just wanted y'all to see that. But to seal this, then you could use an exterior or a concrete sealer over this and it would be fine. In fact, any of these that you have paint on or that you've designed and done special things to, I would use Miss Lillian Carey's an exterior top coat, uh, or you can use a concrete sealer, whichever one. But I just thought this would really be pretty, but you would definitely want to seal that. And as you can see on this one, I want to use this as a wall hanging. So I didn't put any stencil on this at all. All I did was pour it in, as you can see, and it's thin, and I have the wire, So, and then I'm gonna put uh, fleece on the back of this so it can hang on the wall and not scratch my wall. But I thought, or if you wanted to, you could, uh, Okay, for another idea, if you did want to hang it outside, this is something that I thought of as well. I think these are these are some of the uh, Prima uh, molds that you pour. And um, I don't have these out here, but I have this one right here to show. Uh, and I'll show you all how to pour those in just a moment. But to me, I, these remind me of birds. I don't know why, but these look like little beaks. I just thought those were so cute. But to attract the birds, I just spray painted those uh, in gold. And I'm not a real fond person of spray paint. Uh, there's so many young people that are using spray painting furniture that it just scares me that they're not wearing the right protective stuff that they should be by doing that. But anyway, I think that would be so pretty hanging out in a garden, in a flower garden around where y'all can see. Isn't that pretty? Of course you could do it in yellows or bright pastel colors or anything like that. Oh, and another thing. Hmm, I hadn't thought about that. Hmm. You could actually take and lay these down like this in a design that you would want and spray paint and then lift these up and then this would leave the design on here. So that's something else that's different that you could do. But I'm gonna do this one for the inside of the house and decorate it. And I will probably use the gilding jewels. I'll show you that on the other over here whenever I do that. But that's just another idea that you could do something else with this as well. I showed y'all some pictures and this one I thought is so pretty and this is the stencil that I used and whenever I poured this one I used uh, Miss Lillian's uh, Swamp Mud on this one and then what I did is I took 220 uh, sandpaper and I sanded it and this is it's, this is how you get that. I just love it. I thought that was such a pretty color. Okay, and then what I did is I laid my stencil back down and then I used the gilding jewels and this one is in the gold. And I use my stencil brush. I don't use my finger. A lot of times, um, I use the waxes and gilding jewels um, just like I am stenciling. But as you can see, I just put it on a generous amount and it really goes a long way. I mean, you know, you're not having to really put very much on there. Okay, and that one was the gold, 
and I carry all of these products and that's why in a lot of my lives um, whenever I'm teaching I use a little bit of everything because well for one thing that's just the way my brain works but uh, and then this one is called night that's a real pretty blue and then I went in and I did take it off for this and then I just kind of hit it around in certain areas not being really particular or even thinking about what I'm doing <laughs> my family would make a joke about that speaking of family it's been kind of a my son uh, broke his foot today so not a good thing and then I had uh, <clears throat> went off into the other room and come back in and could not find my three-year-old granddaughter. And you're talking about dire panic? And she had rolled up in a blanket and went to sleep on the floor. And I, that just scared me half to death. Of course, the first thing you do is check every door to make sure that she hadn't went outside. Although, if the door is open, it makes a sound and you will hear. To me, that is an art piece. <laughs> it may be a stepping stone, but I just think that's really pretty. But that's one thing that you can do, and I wish that I had thought about putting the, the hooks in the back, doing this one, so because I'm going to do some more like this. But I just uh, thought that was so pretty. And again, I did that with Miss Lillian's uh, Swamp Mud. And let's see, I used the gold, the night, and the patina on, that was the three colors that I used on that one. And this one, I really like the way that it turned out. I'm not sure I'm going to do anything else to it either. Okay, this one, what I did is I took... This is not the one that I used, but I took, and y'all look how I had done uh, one, two, three, four, five, about six or seven of these, and look how easy and how clean these have come. I mean, they are so easy to clean up. But what I did is I laid this down in there, and then I took a stick and I dipped it down into the paint and I just drizzled it all over it just like that and then I uh, started pouring in my cement and this is how it turned out it really almost looks like a marble effect and what I've done here on this side this is a sealer and so it made it kind of glossy and shiny and I left this side so that y'all could see the difference. But that's another uh, idea that you can do. And again, you could come in with um, gilding or you could come in and put the stencil back on and you could take um, the size, the Artsyville size for the foil, put it on and whenever it tacks up, then uh, you could do your foil on it. You put your stencil back down, put your size on and let it tack and then uh, use a scrub brush like this and you can get these at the Dollar Tree as well. So that's also another idea. But um, I wanted to show y'all the, oh, I was gonna show y'all about the molds for those that haven't used their molds yet. Uh, I get this at Hobby Lobby and I was gonna bring the box out here and I forgot and it's called Amazing. Um, but be sure that you get the one that turns white. You don't want the one that turns yellow or clear. Um, and this is a 50-50 mixture. You just and I use these cups. And I look for these cups, the ones that come with this, you might as well just chunk them because, um, 
whenever you pour out of them, the liquid runs down the side. I hate that. And uh, because you can't see where it's going. So I get these, um, they're condiment cups. Um, I think you can get them at Sam's, I'm not for sure. Uh, but anyway, this is the kind that I like because of the way that it pours. And you know, I'm not absolutely precise, precise. I just kind of eyeball it more or less. But you do have to have it pretty much the same. And be sure you always get the right lid on the right one. I have done that before. Okay, and then what I do is I just take and pour this one into that one. And you, it gets a little cloudy on you, but as soon as you see that it has started to clear up and you can see through it, then you're ready to pour. Okay, see there, that's clear. So you're ready to start pouring, and I'll just pour a little at a time. And with one like this, you can just pour real slow. Oh, I should have turned that where y'all can see. Because it will run down, or you can take and you can follow it around just like that. And sometimes I may not fill it up all the way, and I'll take my stick and push my stuff around to get it to where I want it. And this is already, the cup is already getting hot. So you don't want to take too long of pouring your stuff. Wow, I couldn't have done that if I'd have tried to get just the right amount. Wow. All right. And this is clear. And as it starts setting up, it turns white. And it usually takes about 10 minutes, and you can take and just pop it right out, and it's ready to use. And it's still pliable. But me, I usually like to have a lot of these made up in advance because I never know what I'm gonna wanna use. So if you do that, they really get hard. But if you'll take a heat gun or a blow dryer and heat them, you can bend them. And that is a great asset because that way you can make up as many as you want and you can always be able to bend them because I put them on bottles and um, put on high heel shoes, anything I can think of. But see, you can see how that's already turning white. I wish I'd have done this a while ago where I could have popped it out for you. But um, I'm just trying to make sure that I didn't miss anything. Oh, and the pink ones. Let's see. I guess I could put some. Oh, I know. Something that I was going to do. With this one. If I can make sure that I get this in here. This was a mold that I broke the other day. And I thought, oh my God, I can't stand to throw it away. And I kind of glued it back together. But I thought how pretty that would be in the center of that on the wall. I just thought that'd be so pretty. And I, all I did is uh, I used a flat. I think I get it at Walmart. Um, I threw the can away because it's empty. But I took and just sprayed it. And then I used the Gilding Jewels. I believe that's the bronze and uh, the patina on this one. But isn't that pretty? I just thought that was really pretty. And that's why I was wanting to show y'all about the molds. But if you are going to not pour... Oh, and another thing. Uh, Kathy did tell me uh, after I had left uh, her place the other day, she was pouring some using what I had used and she wanted to make it really thick. She wanted to make it like her other ones that she had made as thick as the container. And um, it really run under the stencil. So if you are gonna use what I'm using, make I only would do half uh, full and I would mark here, but I've just kind of stayed with the consistency of using four, uh, four cups and then four, four more cups with my mixture. So, ow.
All right, y'all. Um, oh, I was going to show y'all the... I just want to put some gilding jewels on that pink. This is the silk. Oh, wow. Isn't that pretty? Wow. Just kind of adds a whole new look to it, doesn't it? Mm, yes, I like that. But, you know, it's really hard to stay with just one color. I like using two or three colors. Oh, and it's not going to be long till I'm going to be doing a live, and I'm wanting to play in Miss Lillian's Mood Paint. So, I'm really looking forward to that. I have used uh, Milk Paint. It's just been a while, and it's a very fun product to play with. There you go. Isn't that pretty? All right, y'all. Well, I think that's everything that I... Oh, I was going to want to put some on that gold, too. Oh, how about... Uh, ruby. Now, that's, that's a pretty color. Wow, I feel like we're fading on the light here for some reason. Don't you know them hummingbirds would just go wild over that gold and red? That is pretty. All right, y'all. Well, listen, I appreciate it. And if y'all need any of the products that I've showed y'all tonight, just jump over to twochattychicks.com. And if I don't have anything, just let me know what it is you want. And definitely appreciate all the shares and the likes. And um, I'm not sure when I'm going to be doing another live. Uh, got some things going on this weekend. Um, but I'll let y'all know. And I sure do appreciate y'all stopping by. I'm tongue-tied tonight, too. <laughs> it's been a long day. But listen, y'all, I do appreciate it. And uh, y'all have a blessed day. Bye, y'all.